I'm back with another Divi 5 progress update. First, if you want to test the latest version of Divi 5, including the recent updates I'll highlight in this video, head to demo.elegantthemes.com and take it for a spin. We update the demo every two weeks and welcome your feedback. Plus, stick around until the end of this video because I have a fun sneak peek to share. This month's most significant accomplishment was wrapping up Divi presets, a big and important milestone. In Divi 5, presets work much faster and result in much less CSS output. That's because in Divi 5, they are class-based with a single preset class shared between modules. Not only does this result in a smaller page size on the front end, but it also means that updating modules that use presets in the Visual Builder is way faster since the app only needs to re-render the single style tag shared between all modules. It's a night and day difference, and once again, we are using Divi 5 as an opportunity to focus on performance. Next, we finished implementing scroll effects, which was another complex feature and a nice hurdle to jump over. You can do a lot of fun stuff with scroll effects, so if you're checking out the demo, give them a try. We also finished implementing the remaining condition options, which allow you to hide and display modules based on various conditions, such as user role, logged in status, date and time, and so on. Finally, we wrapped up Divi 5's responsive view mode system, which includes a nice little change. Divi 5 allows you to zoom in and out while any responsive view mode is active. It's a great way to get a bird's eye view of your design, making it easier to drag items long distances. In Divi 5, when your canvas is too small to hold your design within the current minimum viewport width, the canvas will automatically zoom out and scale your page to fit the available space instead of switching between view modes unwantedly. This means you can work on any breakpoint, even if your screen isn't wide enough or your docked panels have reduced the canvas width. With these features completed, let's revisit the Divi 5 roadmap. This is the internal roadmap we use to track our progress. On the right is everything we've finished so far. In the middle, you can see what our team is working on during the current sprint. And on the left are the things we need to finish before the public alpha goes live. This is where we stand currently. Next, I have a little sneak peek to share. As I mentioned in previous videos, when we started down the long road of Divi 5 development, we knew that we couldn't keep building features for Divi 4 because every new Divi 4 feature would need to be recreated in Divi 5, resulting in a never-ending roadmap. So we moved our entire Divi development team to Divi 5 and created a small team to work on projects outside Divi that wouldn't need to be redeveloped. One of those projects is nearly finished and is called Divi Dash. Divi Dash is a WordPress site manager that helps you sprint through maintenance tasks. You can add all your websites to Divi Dash and easily log into them with a single click. You can manage updates across all your sites, create custom update schedules, manage themes and plugins, users, and more. We will be adding many great features to Divi Dash and it will be free for everyone included with your Divi membership at no additional cost. Stay tuned for that new service launching within the next month or two if all goes well. Also, in case you missed it, we just launched a new feature called Divi Quick Sites, which empowers you to automatically generate and set up an entire Divi website in one to two minutes. You can make a website with AI or choose from a collection of handcrafted starter sites. Divi Quick Sites generates pages, creates custom layouts, writes content, generates images, and then sets up your entire site, including your menu, theme builder templates, theme customizer settings, and Divi presets. It's the fastest, easiest way to get a stunning WordPress website up and running in no time. That's all for this month's Divi 5 update. Remember to follow and subscribe so you never miss a thing, and I'll see you in the next one.